run us through the sense you're making of the activity we're seeing on the local bourse at the moment. Um, you'd say the activity is actually driven over the past few weeks by the strong earnings announcements that we've seen, particularly for, from the banking sector. Um, and this generally, these results generally reflect um, a resilient um, 2009 for most of these uh, companies and uh, a strong outlook for 2010. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, barring uh, some of the challenges that you highlighted in terms of the political environment, um, the expectation uh, from an investor perspective is that the outlook is much stronger uh, than it was last year. And I think, uh, in my view, that is what is driving uh, what you've seen in the stock market over the past uh, several weeks. As you've highlighted, it's these trading reports, earnings reports that are standing in the spotlight, and particularly when it comes to the banking sector. But yesterday I came across an article saying that banking stocks at one-year highs have been placed on a hold watch list by some market analysts, a signal to investors that buying shares at this stage of the game might not yield capital gains in the short term. Do you share that sentiment? Um, I, I would say that um, in looking at some of the earnings announcements uh, by the third quarter of last year, uh, it, I mean, we could see, one, one could uh, see that um, um, the, the earnings expectations were likely to be, to be much better than 2008. So I think some of the prices, price uh, movements had already factored in uh, the, the, the gains that were expected in terms of earnings. And uh, therefore, in terms of upward potential, um, that had already been factored in in terms of the earnings for 2009. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'd, I'd share that, that, that sentiment that maybe we have seen um, the results, uh, the share prices already reflecting uh, the, 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 the expected strong earnings for 2009. That having been said, Einstein, on some fronts being anticipated is a correction of the stock market as a whole, especially after the earnings report season closes. Are you factoring in some kind of correction on the NSE 20? Um, I think the, 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 in terms of the, the, the expectations going forward, I have, I have already highlighted uh, the fact that um, we are in a fairly... Um, in terms of um, other uh, uh, factors outside the macroeconomic environment, like the political factors, I think uh, seeing what happened uh, two years ago, it's always quite important to, to factor in the, the element of the political factors. And so that could be one of the elements that could uh, slow down the, 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 the performance of the market. Mm -hmm. um, therefore, it's always important um, to, to, to factor that, that in, in terms of the, uh, the, the political aspect. But otherwise, as, as earlier mentioned, um, the growth uh, in earnings um, is, should already have been reflected in, in a lot of the share prices that uh, we've seen in terms of the, 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 the earnings that have been announced by most of the companies, particularly the banking sector. Well, let's unpack uh, some earnings that hit the market scene this morning. We've seen numbers out of National Bank of Kenya for the full year. Profit before tax uh, marking a 20% improvement from the same time last year. Have you had time to digest those numbers? Uh, yes, I think looking for, uh, in, in terms of the uh, National Bank, I think one of the things that is important to highlight, I think, is the fact that the earnings now indicate the bank is, uh, has now effectively re re uh, eliminated the deficit, the, the deficit that has been outstanding in its balance sheet, mm -hmm. and is now in a position going forward to be able to pay its shareholders a dividend. I think uh, these have, the results have been achieved as a result of uh, a fairly aggressive uh, 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 move into the uh, getting new customers as well as trying to recover the old debts that had driven the bank into a fairly uh, a, a deficit position. So um, it, it, I think it's a, it's a key milestone that the bank has been able to achieve yeah. uh, in 2009. Well, what they have announced is that they aren't going to be paying a dividend. The directors are pleased to recommend, though, that uh, a bonus issue in the portion of two ordinary shares for every five ordinary shares held will be paid forward. Uh, what do you anticipate market reaction uh, to be to that announcement? Um, I think over the last years, several years, we've seen a progressive improvement in the financial position uh, of the bank, uh, guided a lot also by the government's um, uh, uh, payment of some of the guarantees in terms of the, the, the bad debt uh, position. Um, so again, I think in terms of the recovery, that, that has been fairly gradual. And I think um, as much as uh, it, it reflects a significant improvement in the, in, in, in the, in the profits of the, of, of, of the, of the bank, 
Um, I would expect that uh, one of the challenges in terms of the national bank shares is that it's, um, the liquidity isn't that significant. Mm -hmm. But in addition to that, I think um, it's been fairly expected that the, 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 the strong performance on the bank, uh, on, uh, as, the, as the banking uh, bad debts continue to be collected, and as the bank makes an aggressive move into the market, um, I think uh, similar to the earlier sentiments expressed, um, I would expect that there will be some movement and activity in the, yeah. in the, in the stock. Uh, but I think uh, in, in line with, with, with the trend that we've seen in the, in the, in the, in the, in the market, that some element or some uh, significant portion of, of that, those news have already been factored into the share price. Well, let's look at its privatization plans because the banks announced that it's now uh, pushing back the sale of its government health shares once again. It was supposed to be uh, in June. It's now targeting December this year. I mean, are we ever going to see this come to the fore, especially at a time where we know that one of the other players, Equity Bank, has expressed a keen interest in actually acquiring a, a bit off this bank? Uh, I think the reason, uh, my own uh, view on that, on that situation will be that uh, I think in, in, uh, as, the, as the bank has continued to gradually recover, um, there has been uh, some, there, there, could, there could be uh, sentiments that uh, they probably need to reflect on how, how the recovery process is uh, taking place uh, in order to ensure that um, the need for a careful management of the privatization process I wouldn't, I wouldn't want probably to go into the behind the scene aspects of uh, the privatization process because there, 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 there could be, I mean, in terms of a lot of players and uh, looking back at the privatization process and, and, and the, some of the complexities that one would imagine uh, will be taking place. But I think it's, it's, it's with a view to ensuring that um, the, 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 the bank's interest and the stakeholders are effectively mm -hmm. catered for. Uh, and therefore, I think the idea is to carefully manage the process. Um, I uh, going forward. Yeah. Einstein, just looking at this banking sector as a whole, I mean, one of the problems highlighted is that players do have a problem with non-performing loans and they're failing to adequately reflect this in their loan loss uh, provisions. Just how confident are you about the level of disclosure when it comes to Kenyan banks right now? Um, I think there has been quite a significant improvement in disclosure of non-performing loans in the banking sector, particularly with the, the, the stringent uh, requirements that have been put in place by the central bank over the years. And I think as much as possible, uh, looking at the, the results announcement in the banking sector, I would say that uh, there has been uh, quite a significant improvement in terms of uh, the disclosure. And uh, overall, also reflect, reflecting generally the situation that prevailed in the year 2009, uh, generally, there was, um, uh, uh, particularly as banks strengthened the recovery of, uh, of the bad debts, I would say that uh, there's a general, I, I mean, overall, a reflection of uh, a, a significant improvement in terms of uh, debt recovery, but also uh, maintaining the stringent uh, disclosure requirements. So I would, I would, I would generally be uh, confident that uh, a lot of the information that is uh, presented by the banking sector in terms of the non-performing loans would generally uh, as much as closely refre yeah. reflect the position in terms of the bad debts. 